I told you I was still flipping out. I saw fourteen oh eight last night. That movie, yeah, scary. Trip me out, man. Yeah, what's it about? It did well. It, it, yeah, I want to see place this over the weekend. Yep. He's like a myth. John Cusack's a, like a haunted mansion writer. He <laughs> writes books about haunted haunted houses and that. And so he finds about this room fourteen oh eight in Manhattan where apparently it's like fifty five people died. And he wants to write about it. Jeez. So he's like, all right. So I want to stay in the room. And Samuel Jackson's like, I'm not going to let you. A lot of people died. We don't rent it out. And he's like. I'm going in there. So he's oh, like, that. there's some legal thing that says, like, if there is a room, you have to rent it out. Oh, sorry, Jim. No, no, no. Go ahead, man. Go, go, go. Okay, good. So Jim hasn't seen the movie, so I don't want to... Well, I'm, I won't ruin it for you. Anyways. Dude, go into the sound booth. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a sound booth here? <laughs> Look at Jim's plugging right, his stop, ears. I'm going to stop now. I'm going to stop it now. I'm going to stop it now. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, don't do it. I'm just doing it. Cause I'm, I'm, me and my girlfriend are going to go see it. Then when she gets scared, I'll put her head in my lap. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it just gets so... So screwed up, man. It's really scary movie. Not not like a slasher movie type. No, but no, it's not. Jimmy's slasher. not giving it away. He's, He's just, just saying how scary it was. You want to leave by the end. You want it to end. You go. This is enough of this. This is like freaking. Really? Me off. Is there a scene like I had a horrifying thing where they order room service and it comes without rolls? Ha! <laughs> High five, me guys. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get another wine spritz over here? <laughs> you know the. Uh, we saw. Uh, they're, we, getting, they're getting too good with these horror films. Like me and my girlfriend went to see Ring. The Ring when right, it right. first came out. Now this is kind of the Ring came out, and it's one of those adaptations of a Japanese movie, which has done very well over here when they do that because they are just some scary, scary. shit. Yeah. Uh, so they did the Ring. Me and my girlfriend go to see it. We're sitting there, and there was barely anyone in the theater. I think there were two girls in front of us, a couple of guys in the back, and we're watching, so petrified, scared. That we were laughing, that we were so scared, and, and like tears. My girlfriend's crying, tears are coming out. She goes, "I don't want to watch anymore," <laughs> and leave. I'm laughing at her, but I'm scared shitless. The two girls up front are crying, and the guys in the back are just laughing to kind of loosen themselves up because they're scared shit. Everyone in there was just scared shitless. Yeah. When she goes. I saw her face. And then they showed that picture of her all uh, distorted. And the creepy film, the, the video that they actually pop in, was just creepy enough. With the mirror, the round mirror, and the black and white, and her brushing her hair. Like, shit like that scares Cusack, me more than J any stabbing John thing. John Cusack plays it so he's really acted this well, too. He's like, he's good in this. Like, just, you believe it, and it's it's just it's just him in a room, basically. But it's sick. It's like, yeah, uh, it's, I gotta say it. They're starting to explore that part of the brain that you don't want to deal with. Yeah. With these horror films. Completely, yeah. They're Back going, in the day, it was Freddy Krueger. You're like, oh, it's yeah. scary. But the you, new Halloween, with Rob Zombie's doing the new Halloween right. movie. It looks great. It's like, right. that's going to be fun and yeah. scary. And this well, yeah, down the street after a movie, like just freaked out, paranoid. Freaking out. Dude, like, I threw no. my ticket in the garbage. I didn't want any proof that like I <laughs> saw the movie. <laughs> I threw it away. Scared. It was. Oh, I really, I was freaked out, man. I was like, oh, I was. Just, I so, felt like I was hallucinating. You know what well. nails me in movies every time is uh, creepy kids. I don't like like. Yeah. You're like what? What? <laughs> or, or giggling and little thi uh. footsteps going. That. You uh, fucking asshole. Right. Thanks. See, this you don't kind have of the, stuff. What's the theme of the um, Rosemary's Baby? You don't have that, do you? Oh, oh that's, that's the just, worst. That's the scariest one. theme, right? That, that is a nasty one. Oh, that that gives me chills. That, and also, what else scares me is that creepy bodies can't bend that way, shaky, Weird. fast motion uh, stuff. No, it, oh, does that nail me? I go like, I can't look at this. Yeah. <laughs> and I can see if it was like the Clash of the Titans type of stuff. Right, right. Like yeah, claymation, yeah. like weird They're, stuff. Yeah, but in, when it's in Dynavision. <laughs> yeah. Go, going old school, the beginning of The Shining with that music as they're driving up to the mountain. Right. Yeah. Or up the mountain. That is like, because so, we've all taken that trip with the our Shining family. with the oh, twins. Those, Rosemary's Baby. Right? Oh, here it is. Just like, yeah. You can't do I'm anything but to fuck to the devil to this. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I'm going to well, kill you. Oh, you got the beginning of the oh. shining. Do you know the scary Awful. scene was in uh, Devil's Advocate, where she's pregnant or whatever, and she's having a nightmare that she's walking through. Like the apartment alone. Oh, and yeah. She walks in and she sees just a little baby in a room. Yeah. Alone, and the baby is like playing in innards. Like yes. She realizes, like she wakes up and realizes she's miscarried or something. It was some creepy shit. That was really creepy. Babies, children, like that. The twins in The Shining Ugh. scared the shit out of me. 
when now Danny they're, now makes they're the, the sweet corner. life of the sweet life of Zach and Cody. Now they've <laughs> they've grown up to do that, which is great good for them. They, have they really? <laughs> no, I mean because I don't know what happened to them, no, and no. it wouldn't have surprised me. I thought they were the Olsen twins for the longest <laughs> they time. Showing the Disney Channel now. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> they just stand there. Come at, play with us, Danny. Now they work at a water park. <laughs> this was just so basic, but man, they're, they're the driving shining. Up, the yeah. big long shot of yeah. the the Volkswagen driving down the windy road. We're up to up this to is another mountain. yeah. This is another Stephen King movie. We're saying yep. yeah. how many Stephen King movie, books have been made in the movie? It's Amazing. Be four or five. Uh, perhaps more than that, Jim. Perhaps more than that. <laughs> <laughs> but the, but the, when he comes around the corner and the first time you see those girls and they're just kind of standing there, scared the shit out of me. Yeah. And then they're hacked up because you know. Grady had to correct them. But the quick <laughs> flashes to the bodies, like that was the great part. Yeah, the yeah. Part them. He see him looking at the girls, and all of a sudden there's a quick flash of them slaughtered with an axe laying there. They were naughty. The they were playing with matches, I, and Grady was angry with I them. I didn't say that was firm. Wasn't firm parenting. <laughs> a lot more of what's needed. <laughs> How great is that on a plane? Fucking yeah. parents just hit their kid with an axe. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> uh, your baby from... And anything like that. They did the uh, the little remake, the director's cut of The Exorcist. And they showed that scene where she was kind of like a spider almost bent over backwards with her head turned the other way, walking down the stairs. That's the type that frightens you? That scared the shit really? out of me more than anything else in the, the whole movie, The Exorcist. I can't take the bent the oh, wrong that made way me laugh. people. That made me laugh. Bent wrong way, people? Yeah, yeah. You're crazy. That particular one, yeah. We'll cut your legs off. <laughs> it was scary. The other Japanese one, too. Not the ring. What was uh, the one they remade with the little Asian yeah. kid? Uh, the grudge. The, the grudge. Uh, well, I was like, this is going to blow. It was fucking scary, man. Yeah. I didn't see it. No one saw it? So it's the little Asian kid with the black. They put the black uh, makeup around his eyes. And then they showed him on an interview or something. He's cute as a button. Little kid. Well, she's and then they make him up all scary and put the white powder on him. She's right. walking through the house looking for something because she hears like a cat mewing yeah. or whatever. And there's this boarded up... I they meowed. There's a boarded up... Uh, <laughs> no, they mew. They're like mew. rats. Oh, okay. Um, there, was, there was a boarded up, like taped up piece of uh, wood in the wall or something. So she undoes it and like, you know, takes all the tape or whatever off it and opens it. And she's that little Asian kid sitting there. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, you're like... You oh, he's in the wall? Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah who would yeah. think to do something like that, right? Wasn't there, wasn't there a movie <laughs> called like, Bad Reginald? or Bad Arnold with mm. the, somebody fed a kid through a wall his whole life oh, and then somebody, somebody moves into the house oh, from wow. the 70s was it more believable than that stupid Wes Craven movie The People Under the Steps where the space <laughs> between the walls has they had fucking four feet of room they're throwing <laughs> j- jamborees in between the walls <laughs> no one builds walls that people can just run through and hide under <laughs> Design <laughs> of the fire, but all right. So you had to use your imagination a little bit. Dude, back there in was the day. sixty people living in the cracks <laughs> of the walls. A bunch of people under the steps having fun. They have a fucking subway system. A small airport. It was awful. <laughs> 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 Why well, don't you know that in New York you make little spaces <laughs> big? Yeah, yeah. Right. you got to really work. I love with how they call got. it like a studio apartment. Like, <laughs> yeah. hey, it's cool. It's like a cracker <laughs> box, a studio. I want to come back to my studio. Yeah, I, I got a loft. Like a, yeah. Yeah. a loft, a loft. Let's, Let's go, go to Nick. That's a, you have a ledge, is what you're saying. You're right, you have a table. It's a piece of wood over your open toilet seat. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's eating my end table. Soup. <laughs> 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 soup. Let's go to Nick in uh, his truck. I guess Nick the trucker. What's up? Howdy, love y'all, love the show. Uh, when y'all had the actresses on the uh, from the movie Descent, that movie yeah. was fucking creepy. Those guys, uh, the cave dwellers that just crawled, really fucked oh, up. Oh, the chicks that went down in the cave, yeah. We had all those yeah, girls yeah. on, but we were commenting on just how pretty they were instead of the movie. <laughs> I never saw the movie. Was that scary? Yeah. Oh, they all came down. Yeah, they were like splunking, I think. Was it good? They were splunking or something. Uh, <laughs> they were spelunking. <laughs> spelunking. Oh, those hot chicks we had it on the X episode? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was, was good. It was good. It was uh, really good, and uh, Opie, you're my favorite. Ooh. Aww. Way to hurt everyone, sir. Yeah. Oh, I, no I, get, favorites I finally here. get one. There's Thanks, no Nick. O P I E and team. Oh, yes, there is when they say that there? I'm their favorite. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> there probably is. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm sure there is. Kevin and Philly, what's up? Hey, no, that film uh, Fallon was talking about was Bad Ronald. Bad Ronald? Oh. Yeah. It was, was it called Bad uh, Ronald? ABC movies. Bad Ronald. Oh. It was frightening, wasn't it? Was it about a clown who sold food that makes you shit? <laughs> that, that's Ali, the new diet pill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so 1408 is a good movie. 
Oh, it definitely is. Yeah, absolutely. I loved it. That I think the um. Well, I didn't love it. It scared the crap. And what are we talking about? You loved it. You <laughs> do Jimmy everything they do it. <laughs> you love it. John Cusa. <laughs> you love <laughs> them. <laughs> Better off dead. <laughs> Someone's bringing up a, a reference we haven't talked about in a while. Uh, did Fallon just refer to Bad Boy Bubby? Oh no, Bad Boy Bubby was another movie. Dude, you want to see a movie? Although, after the first 20 minutes, it sucks. It just goes we nowhere. Could, we could turn you on to a movie called Bad Boy Bubby. <laughs> he has sex with his mom. and Oh, it's just despicable. <laughs> it's hilarious. His mom forces him to have sex with her. It's just a silly film. Now, be a good boy, Bubby. Like, he wears a gas mask because... No, she come. Wait. She's convinced him that the world outside is poison. Yeah. And no one lives out there, so he's just got to live in this little room right. of an apartment that they have. And she goes out to work, but she puts on this gas mask. And then when she leaves, she locks them, locks him in, and then hangs the gas mask because everything's fine. Oh, but he will never leave the place, <gasps> and he's just retarded, kind he of because that he, the world's gonna get yeah, yeah, oh, yeah we're gonna man. kill him. And um, and then she comes home and yells at him and then makes him have sex with her. He has no concept of right and wrong, so like he likes this cat, but he like broke the cat's neck or wrapped it in plastic because it started stinking, and he oh still carries gosh. it around like his cat. It's a disturbing they movie. Remake that, or yeah, yeah, just like look, do a better job at it. Make it into a musical. Wait, look, <laughs> there's Bad Boy Bobby. Here's Bad Boy Bobby, and uh. Oh, what do you got it over there? Yeah, and the mom comes home and, like, washes his nude body. Apparently, Bubby was all cock. <laughs> <laughs> How could you resist? How could kinda, you resist Bubby? He kind of looks like Billy Bob Thornton a little bit. Yeah. He's got a little Billy Bob in him. and uh, Bad boy Bubby. Yeah. It's, yeah. The yeah. first 20 minutes are, like, worth Gold. watching. I mean, it's a good idea. It's very, like, uh, Rod Serling. Who I, yeah, yeah. It's an Australian movie Rod or something Serling. like that. Great. What a genius that guy was. God damn. Rod Serling. Way ahead of his time. Wrote, you, wrote every episode by himself. Did he yeah, write? you watch you watch the himself. Twilight Zone and then watch what else was going on back then. You don't even realize they're that old when you watch the marathons and stuff because they're so well done. And then you watch some other crap that was done back then, and it's like it was he was so far ahead of his time. A lot of people say like they complain that he stole their ideas. Like I heard about that, but that happens with everybody that's yeah. successful. They try to sue. Like mm -hmm. I came up with Titanic. Yeah, no, it actually, I, I came, it no. actually happened. Happened. <laughs> oh, whatever. The captain came up with it. <laughs> Not turning him up. But but I saw. I, uh, did you ever see the? Um, uh, do you have the box set? Absolutely. Of that. Did you see some of the uh, like interviews with? I think it was David Susskind he was doing one with, where they were smoking and you couldn't see them. You absolutely. They were on the Too set much smoke. smoking and you couldn't see them. At one point, they blew in like like you needed radar to see. They, they used to make a hell of a smoke. cigarette back in the day. See, yeah, you just see who. Who's ever lighting up like the ash just <laughs> lights up at the end of the cigarette? Yeah, that's one person. Well, he was a, and another guy though that would just walk out in the middle of you know they do the story and then they pan over to Rod Serling and there he is with his cigarette. Yeah, you know just smoking. I remember Parnell did some. He did like one of those silver statues on Saturday Night Live once. Yeah, and they all boycotted him. And because uh, he, I don't know what he did. He, did, you know, he didn't even write the bit. I don't know why they boycotted him. But anyways, after the show, we came downstairs. And it was like twenty silver dudes, like outside, like <laughs> mad that he made fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they can't fight because they gotta stay stiff. Yeah. It, it totally felt like uh, uh, warriors, <laughs> right? Like, yeah. like you know, the, the gangs that would never ever exist. <laughs> Baseball right. players yeah. on roller skates, like <laughs> just makeup. It was the awesomest oh. gangs in the world. Like that's great. Yeah, yeah, like the silver dudes. Yeah, they're, they're the like, gangs. They only show the baseball dudes, the Furies. They only show them like running and and with the makeup on and the baseball thing. They don't show them at home putting it on, <laughs> going. This feels kind of stupid. Yeah, are you sure we're gonna fight tonight? Like, are we, are we fighting? Let me put my black eye makeup if on. I'm not fighting. I'm not going through the whole makeup thing. Well, yeah. they don't show them running for the cops and they go, "We're looking for a guy in a Yankee hat and a bat on skates and him trying to." Fit in. <laughs> uh, I think he went that way. Didn't they have a star eye too, or something? Yeah, one of them looked like uh, Paul, uh, Stanley. Paul Stanley. Yeah, yeah. yeah had a little Paul Stanley thing happened. Apparently, those were all stuntmen. Yeah, like all the gangs were all uh, stuntmen. Really? Wow. They were really good at that fake back, what? fake uh, bat fighting, oh. and what movie did Riff work on? <laughs> Riff. Fucking 500 guys with bats and hockey sticks <laughs> on the beach. Black guys in black outfits on the beach. All hot and shit. <laughs> Uncomfortable.